Welcome to Quarter 3 Week 2, Grade 5 Mathematics. Lesson number 1. Finding the percentage in a given problem. So let's define first what is percentage. So percentage is the result obtained when a number is multiplied by a percent. So let's have an example problem. Mr. Behino has a class of 44 children. 25% are boys. How many boys are there in the class? To answer the problem, you need to follow the steps below. Step 1. Identify the rate the base in the given problem. Step 2. Transform the problem in equation form. Step 3. Use the formula in finding the percentage. Change the rate to a decimal then multiply the base. Step 4. Solve. Follow the steps in multiplication. So again, here's the problem. So step 1, identify the rate, the base in the given problem. The rate is 25%. The base is 44. So we are looking for the percentage of the problem. Step 2, transform the problem in equation form. So 44 times 25% is equal to N. Step 3. Use the formula in finding the percentage. Change the rate to a decimal, then multiply the base. P is equal to B times R. So P is equal to 44 times 25 hundredths. Why 25 hundredths? Because this is the decimal of 25%. Step 4, solve. Follow the steps in multiplication. So 44 times 25 hundredths. First, you multiply 44 and 5. So 44 times 5 is 220. Then, you multiply 44 by 2. So 44 times 2 is 88. Add the partial products. Then, considering moving the decimal place to places, so you have 11. Therefore, the answer is, Mr. Bihino has 11 boys in his class. Lesson 2. Solve routine and non-routine problems involving percentage. Sample problem. Alisa's daily allowance is 30 pesos. If she saves 10% of it, how much can she save daily? To solve routine problems, use these steps. Understand what is asked, the amount Alisa saves daily. What are the given facts? The rate is 10% and the base is 30 pesos. Then plan. What operation will you use? Multiplication. What is the number sentence? N is 10% of 30 pesos. Next is solve. How is the solution done? P is equal to percentage. B is base and R is rate. P is equal to 30 times 10%. Change 10% to decimal number. So, P is equal to 30 times 10 hundredths. If you multiply 30 times 10 hundredths, P is equal to 3. Next, check and look back. What will you do to check if your answer is correct? We can multiply the base and the rate. We change percent to decimal. 
So percentage is equal to base times rate or the formula P is equal to B times R. What is the answer to the problem? Therefore, Alisa saves 3 pesos daily. Then we have non-routine problems. Example problem number 1. Romeo celebrated his 11th birthday. He counted the persons who attended the party and found out that 40% of the 200 visitors were male. How many attendees were male? By illustration, 40% can also be represented using these models. Since there are 200 visitors in the party, we can simply divide it into 10 equal parts to show each model 10% of the total number of visitors attended. Each illustration represents 10% of the whole and equals 20 persons. Then 4 illustrations represent 40% equals 80 persons. Therefore, there are 80 male attendees in the birthday party. Problem number 2. Marie earns 300 pesos every month and saves 30%. How much does she save a month? Draw a bar model and divide it into 10 equal parts to show 10% of the whole in each part. 300 divided by 10 is equal to 30. Each unit represents 10% of the whole and it equals 30 pesos. Then the 3 shaded units represent 30% equals 90 pesos. Therefore, Marie saves 90 pesos a month. Remember, the following are the steps in finding percentage. Step 1. Identify the rate, the base, in the given problem. Step 2. Transform the problem in equation form. Step 3. Use the formula in finding the percentage. Change the rate to a decimal, then multiply the base. Step 4. Solve. Follow the steps used in multiplication. Put the decimal point on its corresponding place. In solving multi-step routine problems, you have to bear in mind the polya step in problem solving. These steps are the following. A. Understand. What is asked? What are the given facts? B. Plan. What operation will you use? What is the number sentence? C. Solve. How is the solution done? D. Check and look back. Check your answer and state the complete answer. In solving non-routine problems, it can be solved in multiple ways like the following. Drawing a model Use an equation Using a formula Working backwards Using estimation Making a table and looking for a pattern Using dimensional analysis Drawing a diagram Making a list And guessing and checking Break up the problem into smaller ones and try to solve them one by one